Mr. Hanky says, howdy ho. Whereas we say, all right, fa la 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 la. Right. Hello, Merry Christmas. Welcome to the Davis Locker. I'm Chris, this is Gaz, and we're here today to decipher who is the best Santa in movie history. Well, it's our favourite Santa, isn't it, really, I suppose? And put your feet up, mate, because this is going to be a short episode, because I got the quintessential one right here. Oh, go on. And I, th I think this is the favourite, because whenever you speak about this person, everyone yeah. loves it. Dougie Doug from Cool Runnings. Do you know the fellow with the uh, lucky egg? <laughs> Sanka. Yeah. Sanka. Yeah, what, 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 what are we doing? Santa. You're a Sanka. A massive Sanka. Sanka! You're dead? Yeah, man. We've all seen the, I mean, we even did one last year, didn't we? We did a rundown of what's the best Christmas film, and there's loads of them in there. We did, yeah, top 50. I think if you click over here, you'll be able to see it. I mean, some of it, I think, has been um, cancelled down, hasn't it? We can't see it because it'd be broke massive copyright laws. <laughs> massive. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll probably do the same again today, yeah. but we don't really give a shit. So <laughs> we're here to not talk about the best Christmas films because we've done, everyone's done that to death. We're here to tell you who is our favourite Santa. Ooh, you're hard. I think the best is Dave's brother, Richard Attenborough, <laughs> in Miracle on 34th Street. I think he is the best. When you think about the movie Santa, he's the one you think about. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, now, Comet, now, Cupid, now, Dunder and Blitzen! Hey! He is, and I think if, if it were to be a poll, this, yeah. I think he'd probably get 70% of it. Yeah. I think most people, because the people I've spoken to this week when I've said, oh, we're doing a show on Santa on Sunday, who's your favourite Santa in the films? Everyone said yeah. Richard Attenborough, Miracle on 34th Street. But, all right, why? I just think he just gives off that proper, proper Santa vibe. He looks the part and he's just, I think the, the film is just hopeful. so wholesome and that's why it's been remade a number of times what do you want for christmas peter i want to find it just like the big ones only smaller has a rose it's got 12 at one and i won't do it in the house i'll only do it in the backyard i promise what it's not like christmasy enough for me really he doesn't do enough santa in well that's why i like him because yeah, i think really? a lot of these christmas films are very similar in terms of santa oh yeah christmas spirit is going down the drain what can we do Let's have a sing song or summer. I mean, no one's out there doing the hard yards. No one's out there with the general public. And that's what I like about Dickie. He's out there, man. He thinks you're Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I love Richard Amber as an actor. Yeah. He's responsible for one of my most hated scenes in film history in The Great Escape when they're just about to get on the bus or the train, wherever it is, and the German officer gets him and his colleague yeah, and he's like, uh, yeah. good luck. And he's like, thank you. He's like, no, don't say thanks. He thinks you're a German. Good on them. <laughs> anyway, can I counter you? Of course you With can. the best Santa. Oh. It's Santa Claus the movie. The original one. Not the Tim Allen ones. <laughs> yeah. Not that rubbish. The 1985 classic Santa Claus the movie with Dudley Moore and uh, David Huddleston, who yeah. plays Santa, who you might know, or most know as the Big Lebowski, Big Jeff Lebowski in the, yeah. in the Coen Brothers' Big Lebowski film. And uh, in this film, he is, for me, the quintessential Santa. I am biased. This is purely based on nostalgia, because it's the first Santa that I ever saw in a film. Only one man can help us, and he's coming to take you for a sleigh ride in the stars. <laughs> Alexander Salkine yeah! presents Santa Claus, the movie. Seeing is believing. It's amazing. It's know, got yeah. an origin story. Mm. It's got about Klaus or Claus, whatever you want. Klaus, he's uh, a wood carver, and him and um, Anya, his wife, deliver toys to the kids in the village every year. They yeah. get caught in a blizzard guy. Nightmare. The elves save them. And they say, well, funny enough, it's a prophecy. <laughs> that says you were going to take all these presents every year to all the kids and yeah. it's that film to me is proper Christmas magic yeah. I think it's one of those that I agree because in my childhood it, there was a, he was Santa Claus wasn't he in, he in was. film That's because it. there was no alternative for the Not longest really. time yeah. Um, yeah and I love 
Because there's so many special moments in that. Yeah. Big shout out to John Lithgow. He's a proper Brilliant. well good baddie in that. Really Brilliant, good. He? He's the man, isn't yeah, he? When you think he's about great. that. <laughs> One of the bits I love is like um, the L show him the tour store storeroom or whatever it is, the toy storeroom. And he's like, oh my God, look at this. If I was to live my entire life, I would never be able to deliver all of these presents and they're like eh, don't worry pal you're gonna live forever <laughs> and he kind of gives the side eye to his wife watch it he's like oh well both of us we're both of us live forever. <laughs> he seems proper underwhelmed about living forever and then he's like yeah. oh and i feel like to him he's like oh normally i have uh two weeks off annual leave for christmas <laughs> now i'm gonna be well busy <laughs> well i always find though in these types of films and not just this one lots of them when it's like an origin type story when mm. the santa claus the, the wood carver and that kind of mm. thing. You kind of look at the, the toys and it's like, wooden rocking chair, lovely. Yeah. Wooden jigsaw, <laughs> yeah. fantastic. You know, wooden spinning top, whatever. You think, where are, like, the, spiel. Where are the Japanese elves that are doing like the electronics? Because <laughs> I want a Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> where are the PlayStation elves? Yeah. And all that? <laughs> some in the background with a VR headset on. Yeah. Or someone else is dicking yeah. about with a jigsaw. <laughs> okay, well, so he's my favourite, hands down, yeah. right? Hands down. I do have another favourite. Go on. And it's almost like the opposite end of the spectrum. Billy Bob Thornton, Bad Santa. <laughs> okay, yeah. He brings it. Yeah. I don't want to sound cr crude, but he brings a whole new meaning to the word Santa's coming. Yeah. Doesn't indeed, he? <laughs> indeed, yeah. Especially in the scene when he's in the changing room with one of the mums. Hello, oh, Mary. Keep it going. Jesus Christ. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. You ain't got to shit right for a week. <sighs> Billy Bob Thornton is a... Drunk, sex addict, Santa, yeah. who's also a, a career thief, <laughs> really, isn't he? So they, they case uh, shopping malls, don't they? And then uh, find out which ones are the easiest to rob from by uh, masquerading as Santa and yeah. his elves. It's and a it's, good idea, isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's brilliant. It's a mastermind. Oh, you mean the actual thieving idea or the film yeah. idea? No, no, the filming. <laughs> the, the, the thieving. <laughs> a, a big fan of that. Because you get all access, don't you? All through the yeah. back of house. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. how he's getting our money, Sansa. Jo jolly old Sansa. Let's get yeah. in here. There you go. But he's, it's a brilliant film. It's dead funny. Santa! Yeah? You're bringing my present early? Yeah. But I never told you what I wanted. I said I didn't bring it, dipshit. You probably shouldn't be digging in your ass. The magic of Christmas prevails, as always, Gah. Yeah. And in the end, it all comes good, doesn't it? Yeah. But Billy Bob Thornton. Doesn't he end up in hospital? So lovely. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. But it's still, <laughs> <laughs> still a good film, though. Yeah. So you kind of mentioned the Santa Claus, and mm -hmm. it's not one you've seen, is it? When we were talking about it, but not for. Parts. I think I might have seen the first one, but I'm not. Like I say, I'm not that interested in it for some reason. I don't know. I think it's because I'm so loyal to the other one. Yeah. And the and the, and the, the they're not the same film, of course, but the the title is too close. It's yeah. It's not the best film at all, but the kind of the premise of it. He sees Santa, so Scott Calvin, that's yeah. who Tim Allen plays. Yeah. SC, Santa Claus, see what's going to happen here. Genius. Anyway, Santa's on his roof. He goes out and goes, what's going on? Santa falls off. <laughs> Dead. Oh, my God. The Santa Claus is almost like a contractual clause. Whoever puts on the Santa's uh... cloak becomes Santa Claus. So why did he nick his cloak? Off a dead man. I think he was just like, going, hey, look at me. And Santa's dead. Santa's dead, yeah. Kind of withered away, <laughs> doing like uh, the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Similar like that. So he sticks it on, and yeah, he gets tubby and yeah. goes to the bushy bit. Yeah, it's not the best. Now, why don't you f off, you little shit? Our favourite Santa, then, is between Attenborough and David Huddleston, isn't it? Flick? Yeah, and it's a flick of a coin. I'm more than happy for Dave to, to be up mm. there, big time. Okay. Well, with that in mind, then, should we give a few honourable mentions? Go on. Because there have been a few, although not on that level, I don't think, for me. No. There have been some depictions of Santa in film that I have really enjoyed. My little lad, his favourite is Kurt Russell in the Christmas Chronicles 1 and 2, which I think are fantastic films. Netflix own, aren't they? Yeah. And they, definitely. you know, they came out a few, about, what now, three or four years yeah. ago, the first one? Yeah. And it was, it was ace when it came out. You know, everyone loved it, didn't they? It was really popular. You know, like it. Yeah. Do you like Christmas Chronicles? I'd, the first one I really enjoyed, yeah. but there's some bits in it. It's like no, the second one I thought was rubbish. I was because I, I and I didn't watch the the first one when it first came out, right. and I watched them back to back. Oh, okay, and I think and literally back to back. I watched one and two straight after each other. And right. the second one really pales into comparison. The thing that I couldn't get me head around was yeah. separating Kurt Russell from Santa Claus. It's like that's Kurt Russell. That's not Santa. 
I think because he, mm. in my zeitgeist, he's, he's a... Snake he's not, skin. Yeah. But... He should be out looking for big trouble in Little China. Exactly. I know what he's you not mean. Santa. Uh, I don't know, he looked good, mom, though. The moment he lost me was when he went to jail and he started singing. I was like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm I, not know I'm not I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. All right, well, I'll move on from Kurt then. <laughs> Obviously, you've got a problem with that. Uh, my other favourite, another favourite of mine, is James Cosmo, who I love, a great actor, in Narnia, where yeah. he plays the Santa who appears in Narnia, or Per, in, per Noel, yeah. as he's known uh, in, in Narnia. And he's a good Santa because when he turns up, he gives them, you know, gifts of war, basically. Sword and shield, yeah. uh, bow and arrow and a horn. <laughs> and, what did he give you? Say that again. <laughs> he gave me the horn. Uh, a bow and arrow on the horn and then a dagger yeah. to a little tiny kid. Yeah. And some healing cordial. I don't know whether he gave her that like if you stab yourself with a dagger. Yeah. Here's the cordial. I can see which way this is going to go. <laughs> but yeah, so I think he deserves an honourable mention. Any others? Yeah, well, because I looked online and a lot of people were saying Tom Hanks from Polo Express and I was like, nah, 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 nah. So, nah. But in nah, fact, nah. I don't really like Polo Express. I think it's a bit weird. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Freaks Polo Express. Out not a big fan of it. Yeah. It's not the the anime. You know, I'm more like with animation. The the main animation I love at Christmas is The Snowman. Yeah, absolute classic. But uh, back to the Santas, I think Paul Giamatti in Fred Claus is pretty good. Yeah, really like Paul Giamatti in Fred Claus. And then do you know what? When I was researching this, and I think we might as well finish on this bit. When I was researching this guy, I came across a film called Get Santa, which I've never heard of. Get Santa. Yeah, watch the that? trailer. Jim Broadbent is Santa, and it looks. Ace, it's a British like comedy film. Right. Never heard of it, never seen it. <laughs> Get Santa, it's got Stephen Graham in it, Rafe Spall, Jodie right. Whittaker. A massive cast, well good cast. It looks really good by the trailer. Right. Never seen it, never heard of it. No, me neither. So next year, old Broadbent might be making an appearance in this list. Well, I want to, yeah, but last, last note, I want to watch that. Was it Santa with muscles, like you were talking oh, about, yeah, with the whole yeah. Colgan? I don't think that's even yeah. available, but I'm going to try and find it. If you can find Santa with muscles for Gaz, let us know in the comments. <laughs> but right now, Gaz, it's time for something completely different. Okay, so for this week's challenge, Gaz, obviously we've been talking about Santa in the movies. Yep. So what I've got for you is 10 well-known actors, mm -hmm. all in the guise of Santa. Okay. Can you tell me who they are? No. That's what I want to know. No, okay. No, no. Join Great. us next week. <laughs> sure. Right, so let me open this up for you. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Right, so our first actor, Bush. Who's that as Santa? Who is it, Gar? Oh. Who is it? Who is it? Rim. Who is that? Can you tell me who it is? Is it Jeffrey Wright? It's not Jeffrey Wright. It's a good shout. I'll give you one more go. I'm going to move you on. You like him. Both his comedy and his Peel. films. It's Jordan Peele. Yeah. You're right. There he is. Oh. Next. Oh, these are hard. This one's easy. All right, okay. Oh, it's uh, Aquaman. Jason Momoa. <laughs> Jason Momoa. There you go. There he is. <laughs> this is quite hard, this one. And it does look a lot like Sylvester McCoy, I think. Is it? Is it? Jared Butler? It's not Jared Butler. Oh. Um, it's not Jared Butler, guy. I think you're a fan of this guy as well, though. Oh, my gosh. You're a fan of this this man's acting abilities. Um, oh. Do they make him older? I've made him way older, yeah. Oh, right. They're all older. Uh, Wally. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't know. <laughs> you get it? No, I'm just trying to... What's he wearing as well? <laughs> pass, no. mate, pass. It's Oscar Isaac, guy. Oh, my golly gosh. I told they're quite hard, aren't they? Well hard. This is quite a toughie as well. Who's this? Oh, my gosh. And we're in particular a fan of this man's work. These are hard, these. They are hard. Because it just looks like a, a real old Tim Allen, that. I reckon, folks, take part in this. You can beat him. He's FX. struggling. Five Channel Five <laughs> FX. I'm trying to think what it was. Gonna have to ask you for an answer, guy. I... I don't think that's gonna help you. <laughs> Leo? Who? Leonardo DiCaprio? It's not Leonardo DiCaprio. No. Leonardo from the is? Turtles. Do you want to see who it is? 
It's Rob oh, McElhenney, guy. It's Rob McElhenney. These are too hard, these. Co-owner of our hometown <laughs> football club. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good God. one. Who is that? <laughs> I like the outfit. It's good, isn't it? It is from a fashion shoot, that picture, so... All right, OK. Could be someone quite young. Yeah. Maybe. A little clue for you there. Is it Tim Chalamet? It's not. It's not. Just try the other one, who people always get him confused with. Uh, Wolf. Finn Hard. <laughs> Finn Wolf Hard. <laughs> Wolf. It's, that's, that's Wolf Finn Hard. Finn Hard. That's, that's, that's Finn Wolf Hard. <laughs> His brother. <laughs> Next. Well, I, I don't know if this is hard or easy. Looks like Kelsey Grammer. It does look like Kelsey Grammer. It's not Kelsey Grammer. It does look like him though. Um, who is it, Cam? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Imagine him coming down your chimney. Um, who is he? Who I don't know. He? I don't know. Soon to be out in the dark of night. This man. In the dark of night. Oh, hang on. Ah, Pats. It's Robert Pattinson. <laughs> there you go. Wow. <laughs> These are tough. This one isn't. This is easy. Right, if you don't okay. get this one, go have a word with yourself. It looks a bit like Lenny Henry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much acting he's done. Um, Idris Elba. It certainly is. Possible future Bond, as they keep saying. A bit Who too knows? old now, I think. He is probably a bit too old. Isn't he? Yeah. This one, I think this is easy. No. <sighs> I think Matt LeBlanc. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It certainly is Matt LeBlanc. No. LeBlanc. It's Mary LeBlanc. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Silver Fox. And I think this is the, yeah, second to last. So this is second to last, got the penultimate one. Oh, I almost showed you the normal picture. Oh, there. brilliant, yeah. <laughs> Do that. Go. Go. I think he looks a bit like Russell Crowe as he is now. The legendary Russell Crowe. But it's not. It's oh another legendary gosh. actor. And I know you're a fan of this man's work as well. We've mentioned him many times on the show. It's so hard, these. I know, well, you know, if it were easy, guy, everyone would be doing it, wouldn't they? Um. <laughs> come on, come on. It does look just like I can't get Russell Crowe out my head now. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Trying to, if it's fuzzy, sometimes it helps you, doesn't it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that face would be weird without the hat. That is <laughs> amplifying it. Come on, guy. Oh, you can do this. I believe in your brother. Has he got a cool just over one arm? I don't know. I think so. Um, Come on. I don't know. You give up? I, I pass. You're going to have a guess? I pass. Uh, just chuck a name out there. No. Tom Hanks. Stephen Steve. Graham guy. Stevie, good. And last. Who's this? Looking like an excellent Santa. <laughs> Almost Attenborough-esque, I think. That is. That is. <laughs> what's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Who? He looks a bit... Oh, what's his name? What is his name? What is his name? I can see his face. What's He's got name? a beard, hasn't he? Mm, no. Not really. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> um, Nick Offerman is what I was thinking of. Is it Nick Offerman? It looks a lot like Nick Offerman, but it's not. Looks a lot like him, though. Um. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Come on. Um, I'm going to kick yourself. You're going to kick yourself proper. Just a footballer. You love this guy. You're a big fan of his work. Big fan. It just, it's like the eyes. <laughs> I can't even get anything from the eyes. Is everything else gone older? It's old, yeah. It's just, it's been aged, yeah. Not the cruiser. It's not the cruiser. S, X. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. This is so hard. I thought it was Goodwill for two old men. Is it? Luke Evans. 
you know what I mean? Nah, it is Luke Evans. Yes. I, mean, I mean, you got what, Thanks, two? Mate. No, got two. I must have got three. You got Matt LeBlanc. Yeah. You got Idris, Pattinson, Finn you got. I mean, you maybe got five. You know, 50%-ish. That's hard, like that. That. That's it the, hard. It was hard, wasn't it? One of the hardest challenges. And it I was sat through your melodica challenge. <laughs> And you had a shock on your neck as well. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather do that again. Some of the highlights from this last year. <laughs> yeah. And with that in mind, please, guys, if you enjoyed that little challenge and you had a score yourself, please let us know what it is. But most of all, follow us on social media. Have a great time over Christmas. Stay yeah. safe. we got all this COVID rubbish coming back yeah. again. Omicron. Oh, I tell you what. Give me five minutes in a room with Omicron, guys. Sounds like a Transformer, that to me. It, does. it reminds me of future armor. Omicron Percy I8. Yeah. Planet. But anyway, look after yourselves, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas, a great new year. We'll see you soon. Thank you for all the support this year. Yeah, thank you very much. There's some big stuff coming in 2022. Big. Stay tuned. See ya. <laughs>